Right, hello, welcome back to rcnerd.tv. Right, I've got an issue. Um, don't know what the hell it is, but this camera stand will just stay still. As you can hear, I'm a bit niffed because this, the slash has been standing for so freaking long, and now it, you know, a little teething problem like this. Right, this is the leopard. If you remember me actually doing a review on it. I had a crash and I'm just wondering if I've damaged it. Anyway, that's that. Here's the motor. And the other one that's in the slash runs perfectly fine. Free running. Wait till I put this together. Look, there's no power. No power whatsoever. Um, put that in there. That in there. It's not bloody rocket science. Now, this has turned out really stiff. Don't know what the hell it is, but it shouldn't be like that when it's off. So the fault must be in here. Now, seriously, I'm not interested in stripping these down, even though people say you can do it. But I think it's these things here, the capacitors. They can get faulty, anything, but... By the look of it, there's no marks on it. Um, but just a bit cheesed off because as soon as I put this on, I thought it was the motor. The motor perfect, there's nothing wrong with it. So, what I'm going to have to do is take the see how it moves. I mean, it, it shouldn't be doing that, but as soon as I disconnect the piece of shit, oh, free running. And this, the other one does exactly the same, not the, with the fold, but. Yeah, can't send it back now because I've had it too long. It's a bit of a bummer light, but I don't know. So I'm going to attempt to have a little look inside it and see if there's something stupid that's surged or just needs reheating. But, you know, shit happens, I suppose. But I had her going and she was just crawling. Like the battery was dead. I've even got the battery on charge, so I know there's nothing wrong with the battery. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's just a quick one to show you that my electronic speed control is packed in, which is not too bad because you can pick these up for about eleven quid, I believe, eighteen quid, sorry. Um, but I'm trying to cut back because I'm trying to save viewers money and not go out and just spend money so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to strip this down but I will contact the people who bought it off and i just explain to them something wrong with it but I can't be bothered sending it all the way back to China I know I should do really but I can't be bothered cost too much and by the time it gets back I most probably got another one so yeah so there you go running freely and if I do that you can see it turns around as soon as I put one of these cables in it or doesn't even have to be in magnetic order but I'll do that anyway here we go it's just stiff as hell so it's a surge in there but hopefully I might be able to repair it okay cheerio see you later